Hello everyone! I'm Lyra, psychologist from Kosovo. Until now on my channel I share different contents, but knowing that 10 October is World Mental Health Day, I decided to talk about depression. Depression is a mood disorder that negatively affects how you feel, the way you think and how you act. But fortunately, depression is treatable. Depression causes feelings of sadness or loss of interest in activities you once enjoyed. It can lead to a variety of emotional and physical problems and can decrease your ability to function at, at home and at work. Depression symptoms can include feeling sad or having depressed mood, change in appetite, weight loss or the opposite, trouble sleeping or sleeping too much, loss of energy or increased fatigue, loss of interest in activities you once enjoyed, feeling worthless or guilty, Depressed people have, have slowed movements or speech and this is observable by the others. Uh, difficulty thinking, concentrating and making decisions. Thoughts of death or suicide. It's important to realize that feeling down at times it's a normal part of life. But if you're feeling down on a regular basis for two weeks or more, you could be dealing with depression. Common causes of depression can include family history. You are at a higher risk for developing depression if you have a family history of depression or another mood disorder, childhood trauma, drug use, a history of drug or alcohol misuse can affect your risk, loss of beloved people, divorce. If you have symptoms of depression, the best thing you need to do is to contact the therapist or psychologist but if you can't contact psychologist for many reasons then it's better for you to talk with your closer person to talk everything about your feelings about your, your thoughts it can help you to feel better medications Use medications if your therapist recommend you. Psychotherapy. Talking with therapist can help you learn skills to cope with a negative feeling. Feelings. Exercises. 30 minutes of a physical activity of a physical activity 3 to 5 days a week. Learn how to say no. Setting boundaries on your personal and professional life can help you feel better. Also, you can improve symptoms of depression by taking care of yourself. This includes getting, getting plenty of sleep, eating a healthy diet, avoiding negative people and participating in enjoyable activities. In most cases, therapists ask you about, about your mood, appetite, sleep pattern, activity level and thoughts. Sometimes thyroid problems or vitamin D deficiency can trigger symptoms of depression, so it's good for you if you check them. Uh, if depression left untreated, complications can include weight gain or loss, physical pain, relationship problems, panic attacks, thoughts of suicide. It's very important for me to share with you that in my country, Kosovo, psychological support was provided, was provided during the pandemic through phone lines and chat. I offered my support through chat line. This was organized by Ministry of Health and Department of Psychology. Living with depression can be difficult, but treatment can improve your quality of life. So, don't ignore symptoms of depression. If your mood don't, doesn't improve or gets worse, seek psychologist help. Our colleague Nausika Hoja made a research about effect of isolation during pandemic on mental health of Kosovo population. And 41% of people agree that isolation affected a lot their mood. If you like this video, click thumbs up and subscribe my channel, activate the bell to be notified for each video I post.